Hi everybody, it's William Dorrington here and I have about five minutes until my next meeting, but I wanted to make sure you're all aware of the new model that has been pushed out to the AI builder in the Power Platform space. So what we're gonna do is have a quick look at what that is. So let's go to make.powerapps.com. Now from here, and I get into the exciting part, if we go along to AI Builder and we go along to Build, we can start seeing the models that we can start building, you know, the ones that we can refine and train for our own business needs. Or, as it states here, we can go straight to productivity. Now, you may have casted your eye on this little, this little piece of goodness down here, which is Receipt Processing Preview. Now, this is an out-of-the-box model that allows you to quickly process your receipts, the sort of receipts you get from restaurants and, and, and taxis, etc., the ones that are quite common in your day-to-day -day purchases. I know the finance and operations guys out there are thinking, well, this is fantastic for when we start doing expense processes. And then you've got the other guys on the other end of the scale, which is around C, etc., for processing their receipts there. And maybe you've got a standalone solution. This is the answer. You don't need to train it. It's fully trained and will be able to process your receipts. Now, let's try it out. Let's go to use either in a flow or use in an app. If I click use in an app, straight away it jumps in and starts preparing everything I need for my Canvas app. So I don't have to do any of the, I would say heavy lifting, but even the lifting isn't heavy anymore. Microsoft made it so easy, but it puts the component on the page that I need. So from here, I've got the ability to scan my receipt. So if I go to actually, if I play this, I can scan receipt uh, and I can go to a receipt. Here we go. I'll use a real world example. Here's one that I, that I made earlier, as it were, that I purchased earlier from a, from a hotel. So that's going off and scanning the receipt. And you'll soon see on that image the items that it's managed to actually pick up from that receipt itself. Then the next stage will actually be to grab that output. So now we can see it's actually grabbed some items. So if we go to insert and we choose a gallery, let's choose a blank gallery for now. I just wanna see all those items that have been picked up. So we're gonna to go to our data source. I'm quickly just typing it in here in items. I'm gonna change this to a receipt processor one, which is this little control here. And then I want to have a look at the purchased items. Now, of course, it's still blank because I haven't fed anything into the gallery yet. So I'm gonna go and add an insert an item and I'm gonna add a text label. Now from this, it's already the first label it's already picked up is the name. If we do the text label again, I want to look at total price of each individual item. So if I go along, I go down, total price. And you know, what else? Uh, what we also include in, in, in expense management is actually the quantity as well. So if we go to text label and throw another one in there, I can go along to quantity by just having a look. Of course, if you're uncomfortable with actually using the formula pane, then you can, of course, still use that edit functionality and look at the different labels you can get there. But if we just jump back in now, straight away, it's picked up that I've had a delicious warm chocolate brownie. Uh, one of them, only one, I was very good that day, for £5.50. Yes, I maybe slipped and got a couple of whiskeys. Uh, I ordered it in an open food manner and I had some glorious buffalo chicken wings. And then on top of this, apparently I was incredibly hungry and had a green Thai vegetable curry. So fair play to me. Now what I could do now is move forward, actually start uh, patching this data through to different sources where I need that data to be. Maybe I'm already uh, using C uh, customer engagement or using something already in the common data service so I can easily uh, integrate it back there as well. And of course, you know those guys using finance and operations it's never been easier using the virtual entity integration to pass that information back through so this is an absolutely phenomenal piece of work by microsoft it's already trained for us you can see how quickly that was now just go ahead start using it and start using it for your own scenarios and and cases that you may have thank you so much